Yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today I review Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> Volume 2. Let's get it done. Welcome back guys, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, was it any good, was it better than the first? Uh, let's take a look and see what it's all about. Alright, so Marvel has been knocking them out of the park one by one by one by one, and here we are at Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and it's off the very much liked Volume 1, and it kind of set it a standard for using quirky music, and uh, actually pretty good music, and the first volume was pretty darn good, and so you saw other movies trying to copy that style. <coughs> Suicide Squad. Anyway, that's not who I really wanted to say. Yes, it was. But anyway, moving forward. So we now have this movie here, this volume two, and the movie is a visual masterpiece. It's stunning. Like, you get to the point where you're not even sure whether set pieces are CG or parts of CG, or is it a mixture, or is it all CG? They, they really did a fantastic and excellent job on that because everything you look at especially in 3d and in IMAX looks incredible so you have a visual treat for your eyes your eyes will never get tired and that's an exciting part of the movie especially if you're bringing your kids and well if you are bringing your kids or if you explicatives <laughs> in there every, every every so often there's some explicative and it, it seems as if Marvel's going a little bit more edgy in terms of that because I think this is about the most cursing I've heard in a Marvel movie before or to date so you're gonna jump in this movie you're gonna see all the characters that you love you got your Star Lord you got your Gamora you've got your Rocket Raccoon Drax Groot of course Yondu and the rest of the cast these guys are all bringing the flair from volume one right into volume two and it's again it's a joy to watch so Kurt Russell as Ego let me tell you man whatever they're doing at Marvel this this aging this de-aging thing it just never gets old <laughs> anyway no it looks fantastic like whatever that technology is like you see Kurt Russell down to his like 20s maybe 25 26 or something like that and they're just like dude I can't really tell that that's fake but then again I saw it in 3d and IMAX so maybe that was hidden a little bit let me know if you see it on a regular screen and it didn't really look all that real but it looked pretty real to me the baby Groot thing is phenomenal it's actually it's very good it's very cute it's very awesome and I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell a ton of toys just because of it and Rocket Raccoon is pretty amazing and he has his own scene that gets man he You'll see, you'll see. Very, very good. I was, the whole time I was watching, I was like, okay, that's cool, that's cool. That's exactly how he probably would move. Wow, that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, that's a pretty good scene. Now, out of all the humor and the jokes and some of the dry humor and all that kind of stuff, they did still figure out how to catch you right in the field, so, fair warning. So, if you're going into this movie expecting like a superior masterpiece and something much, much better than the first one, you might be a little disappointed in that regard, but if you just go in and enjoy the continuation of the story and you know this is another Marvel movie and it's summertime, or at least almost summertime, but it's starting the summertime season <laughs> for the summer blockbuster superhero style, then you're going to have an excellent time. Go ahead and grab some popcorn, some nachos with cheese, some coke, whatever and have a good time of watching it because yeah it's still visually stunning i remember sitting with my guests that i took to the movie and i was just like dude that was awesome that was awesome visually that was awesome that was funny i'm laughing at that that's pretty cool so yeah you will enjoy it i just don't know that it's better than the first one so let's go ahead and talk about some of the things i didn't like in the next section okay so there are jokes and then there are jokes now the movie is stock full with jokes. There's jokes everywhere. Now, it is kind of playing off of the first movie, so yeah, you expect it to be humorous, but they've kind of dialed it up a little bit. And to be honest, it feels like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is trying to be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. A lot like these movies that are copying them, like <laughs> Suicide Squad, right? So you have quirky music and you have like uh, classic music and all that kind of stuff that people will recognized to a point but it doesn't fit the same way that it did in the first volume that doesn't necessarily make it a bad movie it just feels like 
a derivative of it. So you don't kind of, you kind of don't get the soul of it. But that being said, there is some soul to the movie. So let me not discount it that way. Just that it's not as good and it feels derivative in that way. Now Drax, from his storyline in the first movie, you kind of thought, or at least I thought, not you kind of thought, I thought that maybe they would have moved his character in a more serious direction, not to get rid of the comic relief aspect of him because that was great in the first volume, but this is like dialed up way, way, way too high for Drax. Like at some point, I think right around the middle of the movie, I'm just like, dude, this guy is laughing through the entire movie. <laughs> like that happens all the time. Like in every scene, everything that he's doing, he's doing that laugh. And they really play on the fact that he's so literal, like that is just happening throughout the entire movie. It doesn't really bang you over the head to the point where you're like, oh, I hate this. You're kind of like, what happened to Drax the Destroyer? This is more like Drax at the improv, you know what I'm saying? So basically to kind of summarize in terms of the bad stuff, this really could have been an absolutely great movie, but it seems like the villain was a little bit weak in terms of the motivations and just the way everything kind of came about. Um, I would have liked to see it a little bit better and a few less jokes would have probably helped this out a little bit better. Verdict time, guys. I'm going with a three and a half out of five on this one. Now, that doesn't mean it's a bad movie. That's still basically a 70%. This is still a solid entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It just didn't bring anything new. Like, it didn't break any molds. It's still very derivative of the first movie, as I mentioned before. Not bad things, but not super great things. You'll still enjoy it. The CG still rocks, and you'll still love seeing all your favorite characters from the first movie. So, that's basically it. Once again, this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and you just watched the review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So, if you liked the video, and I hope that you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share with your friends, share with your mama, all that stuff helps me out. And remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch y'all on the flip.